Hello everyone. Today we are going to implement binocular enemy tagging. So if I equip the binocular and click on the enemy, you can see this outline appears on the enemy. So and it remains there. So you can see even if I move behind a wall or something, still you can see an outline of the enemy. So that's what we are going to work on today. And also I'm going to fix few bugs related to the binocular system as well. So uh, I showed you the day before yesterday how to implement this outline material. And now I am going to use this and implement enemy tagging function in the binocular if you haven't watched this uh, tutorial i'll put a link in the description below so i'm going to reuse that material here right so now uh, to test this let's add an enemy uh, we do have some enemies here but they have a trolling enemy so let me just drag and drop A normal NPC into the sea, right? And we can already equip the binocular like this, mm. but still don't have a way to tag them. So, to implement tagging, what I'm going to use is I already have this force process volume with infinite extent uh, enabled so here i am going to add that outline post process material we implemented previously should be here mpp outline and if i enable custom depth rendering you can see an outline appears and one minor thing here you can see some flickering we can avoid it if I set the blendable location of this material before tone mapping then you can get rid of that flickering effect see now the flickering is gone also I think we should use a different color for the tagging maybe yellow uh, on red it's not very clear yeah but we can still see it mm. now white seems to be good okay so now uh, let me disable render custom depth parse and uh, here yeah. let's go to the main character blueprint ALS and man here so do we have an interface that is suitable for implementing tagging we don't I can actually add another function to maybe CLMB pair character and in order to implement tagging, but I'm not going to do that because later on I'm planning to implement tagging for other objects, other inanimate objects like explosive barrels, so towers, things like that. So if I implement tagging function in this BPI character interface, then it's not suitable so let's add another interface let's create another interface here they have damageable throwable interactable Let's add something called tagable blueprint blueprint interface BPI tagable. 
All right. So now here, tag. Let's implement a function called tag. Uh, and tag. Now let's use toggle tag. Okay. So with the boolean, we can inform whether to enable or disable the tag right um, default value let's say enable right now here i'll implement the taggable interface ppi taggable And I should we implement it? Yeah, toggle tag event, right now here render cost depth pass uh, render custom depth let's enable it for the mesh and value should be whatever the value we passed here right and then in the binocular uh, let me open the binocular here in this fire event fire this i will use this function to tag um but we need to detect the character who would be hidden from the middle of the camera just like when we detect the hits in the guns so we have to use the same function for that where is fire uh, oh, it's not here yeah, it's in the bp gun So the fire function works like this. The important part is getting the character we hit. Actually, that happens in the emit bullet here. In this emit bullet function. Here we detect the character we hit using this get target location. This is the this is the function that gives us through the camera in the straightforward what's the direct uh, what's the location that we are looking at. So let's take a look at that get target location it should be. Where is it? Oh, I can't I find it. Let's do a point references. Ah, oh, wait. Ah, we have actually implemented that in the player. 
because only the player is looking through the camera for NPC characters it's different so let's take a look at the player get no I haven't implemented it there okay all right it's in the base character let's see get target location if it is player controlled we get the player controllers middle point and yeah, this is where we detect all right so we get a very far away point right so we can use this how uh, here we can get uh, character so this should give us a reference to the character who is holding the binocular get target location <laughs> and uh, also we should use a branch and do this only if this is true they start firing that means we click the mouse button <coughs> let me use for tagging make a comment before I forget it later in a later day and now we can uh, uh do a line trace by channel a starting point would be i uh, will get in the location of the gun mesh should be fine sorry not the gun mesh binoculars get world location <coughs> and that should be the start and then target location uh, i think we can use the visibility channel should be fine mm -hmm. act as to ignore let's make an array and put the character just in case if we are going to tag ourselves and then on the out hit if we have a valid hit we can break this and get the hit actor and call tag toggle tag to enable okay now shall we test get the binocular click see now there is an outline so we can okay so that is working uh, to make it easier to test maybe we can disable the AI of this character or oh, free room radius let's disable duty so he will not be moving see right so just like that we can tag the character then we can see him through objects as well all right so that's all i wanted to implement for today and also there is one small issue i noticed with the binocular is that actually that issue is present with the, the sniper as well i only noticed it recently 
so if I go into the zoom in mode in the binocular and if I switch weapon you can see I switch the weapon but still I have this view the binocular view so to fix that in the parent of binocular which is gun uh, and here also I haven't implemented the required function we have this toggle gun so basically what it does is when we switch the weapon i think we call this as i remember so there we do remove this gun widget yeah that's correct but for the sniper we have two widgets so let's again implement toggle gun oh sorry toggle gun event we still need to call the parent function of this and then we have this scope widget heads to a validated git just in case and if this is unequip let's have a branch if this is false that means we want to unequip the, the sniper or the binocular then if this is is in viewport we need to remove it so remove from parent but first we have to make sure it is in the viewport all right Think that sh that should fix that issue. Let's see. If I switch, oh, still not. The scope is gone, but we don't still see the character. Oh, actually, we correctly implement have correctly implemented when we equip and unequip. So, ah. Uh, it should make things easier uh, this set radical mode this is where I have I'm hiding and unhiding the character so when I toggle the gun toggle gun maybe we can just call set radical mod do not damn it let's try that yeah that works great So let's try that for the sniper also. Great. Okay. Everything works perfectly. All right. So I'm going to stop this episode right here. And thanks for watching. As always, project files will be available for the download. Link would be in the description below. And see you in another episode. Goodbye.